Hello, good evening. It's emerged that waiting times at Scotland's accident and emergency departments in the run-up to Christmas reached record levels. The Health Secretary says services have been under exceptional pressure. Opposition parties claim it proves the Scottish Government's failing to run the NHS properly. This report from Andrew Black. At Dundee's Nine Wells Hospital, A&D services have been under serious pressure. We've had to leave a lot of patients, ask them to go home and, and wait with their fractures, their broken ankles, their broken wrists. Uh, and then we normally get back to within a day or two and sometimes people have been home for three or four days or longer. Scottish Government targets say 95% of A&D patients should be seen within four hours. In the week ending December the 17th, the actual figure across Scotland was 81.1%, the lowest since weekly figures began in 2015. At NHS Lothian, one of Scotland's biggest health authorities, the figure was 68.7%. The Conservatives say the Scottish Government must do more. We need to look at the primary care investment. We need to stop people from going to their local a &E department as a first port of call. And by supporting GPs and looking at the GP crisis that we face, this inevitably will help the NHS. Thank you. But the Health Secretary said recent NHS pressures had been huge. So unprecedented levels of orthopaedic trauma, on top of that, flu-like illnesses then impacting straight away on the back of that. So, you know, we prepare for winter, but when you have pressures like this, it does overwhelm the system. Scottish ministers also say that help's now been given to get services back to normal. Andrew Black, Reporting Scotland. Police are investing.